Hi guys, this is Michelle Garcia here with LakeCDARealEstate.com and Windermere Coeur d'Alene Realty. I'm going to do a walkthrough on this um, beautiful new construction home and I wanted to just kind of give a sampling of what this neighborhood looks like and this particular home is a four bedroom, two bath. Um, we are out in Rathdrum, Idaho which um, we're on the prairie and the prairie also um, could be, you know, Post Falls, it could be Coeur d'Alene, but we happen to be in Rathdrum. We're right off of Meyer. And so let's see, we're north of Hayden Avenue and we're south of Lancaster. So if I look this way, in that direction, Lancaster is over yonder. <laughs> but you can see this is a, um, this whole neighborhood is just being built out. So we're in the third edition. I was pointing over here because that we're on the corner, near the corner of Kavanaugh and Theisman in Brookshire. So I will um, do a little walkthrough of this home. And this builder happens to be Dom, D-A-U-M, construction. So I'll just give you kind of a sense of, you know, the... Um, type of materials that they use and some of the features. This floor plan is called the Rockford Bay and it's a four bedroom, two bath. It's uh, about 1580 square feet. 1580 something. So you have this open floor plan. Of course, that's very popular these days. Um, and you have laminate flooring in this big open area and then all of the bedrooms. I'll hit the bedrooms after we go over this area, but all the bedrooms have carpet. Okay, so you walk in and you have the vaulted ceilings, which is nice. You have, obviously it's not furnished, so it looks barren, but um, it's just it's some really nice um, countertops. These are really pretty. I love, love, love these countertops. And I don't know if it's reading in the video, but that's the cabinets are gray in this scenario. And you have all the stainless appliances. So microwave, range oven, Frigidaire, and the island, same color. There's your dishwasher, so of course all the appliances are matching. You've got the brush nickel for the finishes, I mean the fixtures, I should say. And then I'll pan around this way and show you. That's going to be the living room. And of course we're standing in the dining room. But look at these big picture windows. These are great. And then you have another window over there. And that one sits lower. This one sits higher. And then of course your slider. And since we're here, we'll just go do this now and walk outside. Again, I can't step on the hydro seat, but you can get a sense of the backyard. Um, I mean, it's not huge, but you know, a lot of people don't want a huge backyard anymore, right? Um, you just have kind of low maintenance, but you have a fair amount of space. You have these nice beams. I like those. Those are chunky. And then you have this big open space. In this case, um, you know, you could put a fence in there and maybe access from that. There is a fence on the other side, I mean a gate, I should say, on the other side. And then this area is covered. So, you know, if it happens to be raining and you still want to hang out on the, pat on the back porch, you can. So you have the little stoop steps up. These homes are built on a crawl space. And so if you ever need to get down into that area, it's very easily accessible. And you have those pendant lights. Those are nice. I like those. And you have an actual pantry, not just, not just cabinets. So that's nice. And you come to the hallway, which brings you to the... Um, garage door and then in this area trying to pan back um, that's a little that could be like a little nook for 
mudroom, you know, boots or whatever. And then there's your washer dryer. And, you know, I get this question a lot. It's pretty common up here to have electric dryers. So that one's plumbed for electric. And you have a two car garage. And then some of your utilities, I mean, your mechanical stuff over here. So, hot water heater. But a good size garage. And of course it comes straight into the house and then um, the master is there toward the back. So we'll work right here, so we'll hit these rooms. Um, so you have this bedroom closet. Pretty much, I'm not, I haven't measured, I don't know that they're identical, but they sure do look very similar in size. You know, with your closet back there. It's kind of hard to see in the video. And then here's your guest bath. So you've got, you know, just a full setup. Shower tub combo. And then your toilet. And in this case, they went with uh, laminate counters, but they're tastefully done. Again, I don't know if you can catch it in the video, but they're nicely done. Then you have some nice lighting fixtures and that's your cabinets which that's the same gray color as the kitchen and then you come into the master so I'll try and step back here so that is your master plenty of space for a king bed there plus um, side you know nightstands and then there's your master bath and in this case, there's a walk-in shower, which is nice. Those are very popular. And same flooring throughout. Of course, you have the carpet in the bedroom, carpet in the mat in the uh, closet, and then the hard surface in the bathroom itself. But yeah, and then there's your walk-in closet. So so far we've hit three bedrooms, and up front which we kind of passed on the way in. Oh, and they have the nice nest um, thermostats. So your fourth bedroom is up here. Of course, a lot of people might use this as an office, um, but it's a true bedroom. You've got, um, you know, a closet and it's, I would, I would say probably the same size as the other three bedrooms or the other two bedrooms, not the master. The master, is, of course, is bigger. And then that's, um, you know, this particular room looks out on the front. But that is it. So if you have any questions about this home or any others, reach out to me at lakecdarealestate.com. Michelle Garcia. All right, thanks. Take care.